Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show how can you schedule your Python scripts to run at certain intervals of time on any Unix or Unix-like operating system, that is, any Linux distribution or any Mac system and so on. Let's consider a scenario where you have written a web scraper for scraping a web page on which the information keeps changing after short intervals of time. For example, it might be some news website or any stock market website and so on. So now you have to run your web scraper at periodic intervals of time, let's say after every one hour. So how can you go about doing that? Well, there are very two simple solutions here. First one is that you can manually run your Python script after each hour. So in this solution, you are actually the timekeeper and that's why it is not a very reliable and feasible solution. And another solution is that you can use an infinite while loop with time modules sleep function. So basically, in each iteration, you can simply execute the scraping task and then you can put a sleep of one hour and this cycle will continue. But the problem with this approach is that no one wants to keep their Python script running uselessly and infinitely because it's quite resource intensive in a way. So now, what we can do now after seeing these two solutions? Well, a better solution here is that you can use something called a time-based job scheduler. So a time-based job scheduler can take any job or command for execution along with some time schedule from any user. So a user will provide two things. One is the command to be executed and second the time schedule according to which that command has to be executed. So what happens behind the scenes is that a background process keeps running by the job scheduler which is responsible for running the command if the schedule provided by you matches with the current time. So in this way a job scheduler works. So one such scheduler for the Unix environments is cron. So the cron word has actually been coined from the term cronus which is the name of a Greek god who is a personification of time. So it's quite an accurate and very nice terminology which has been used here for naming this particular word, right? So cron is the software utility which we are going to use for scheduling our Python scripts to run at certain intervals of time. So that is what we are going to see in this particular video. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let me tell you the basics of cron. So cron is actually driven by something called a cron tab file. So a cron tab is short for cron table. So a cron tab file is actually like a configuration file which specifies the commands which I have to run periodically on a given schedule. So that is what is defined in a cron tab file. And the basic syntax for a cron tab, um, for basic syntax for a schedule in the cron tab file is something like this. You have to provide five parameters, these five values, and then you have to provide your command to execute. So what are these five parameters? These are, the first one is the minute value. Then the second one is the R value. Then the third one is the day of the month value. Fourth one is the month value, which is which month of the year we are talking about. And the last one is the day of the week value. So these are their ranges like day of the week can range from zero to six, starting from Sunday up to Saturday. Then month starting from January to um, Dece December. Then day of month one to 31 is its range. Hours it has a range zero to 23 and minute has the range zero to 59. So we do not have any parameter for seconds actually. So the minimum interval that you can have between your um, job executions is actually one minute here. So this is the basic thing that um, you need to know about the syntax of the job schedules. So now how do we specify our schedule for um, different kind of cases? Let us try to see. Let me just remove that. Okay. So by default, what we are seeing here is five asterisks. So one, two, three, four, five. So what does this mean actually is that um, we are going to run a job at any value of this particular parameter. That is what asterisk means. So it is saying that at any minute, at any hour, and then on any day of the month, in any month, or any day of the week, I want to execute this command. So what it simply means in simpler words is that I want to run my, uh, I want to run this particular command after every minute. Okay. So now what if I want to run a command after every hour? So for doing that, what you need to understand here is that 
Now, when you talk about R, minute should have a specific value, like in every R, in which minute you want to execute that command, right? So let's say you want to execute this command after every R at just the start of that particular R. So for doing that, you can just put the minute value as zero and then you can put four asterisks. So this is the schedule through which you can run your any kind of Python script or you can run any command um, on your any shell command after every one hour. So now let's say if you have to run a script daily. So what can you do in that particular case? So if you have to run a script daily, then you have to decide at what point of the day do you want to run that script. So let's say you want to run the script at the, just the start of the day, which is the zeroth minute and the zeroth hour. So you can just put zero zero and then you can put three asterisks. So in this way, we can um, simply specify the particular time at which we want to execute a script. Uh, let's take one more scenario. Let's say we want to execute our, uh, let's say we want to execute a particular command after every half an hour. So after for specifying after every half an hour, what can we do here is that we can provide two values of the minute parameter. So I can just put zero comma thirty, and then I can put four asterisks. So what is saying that on every hour if the minute value is either 0 or 30, I want to execute my command. So it simply means that you want to execute your script after every um, half an hour. Also, if you write 1545, that will also mean the same thing, just the offset has actually changed. So you, let's say you execute a script at 515, then it will be happen at 545, then 615, 645 and so on. So in this way it works. Uh, let's take one more last example here, which is, let's say you want to run a Python script or any kind of command um on 5:30 a.m of every saturday so let's say that is the scenario 5:30 a.m of every saturday so what you can do here is that 5:30 a.m can be specified by doing 30 and 5 so these are two values and after that you do not care about the day of the month you do not care about the month of the year but you care about the day of the week right so saturday is actually the sixth day of the week according to this um will not six it is actually seventh day and is having the index six so i can just write six here so in this way we have specified a schedule which will execute a command on every saturday at 5 30 a.m okay and yeah one more thing that i forgot to tell here is that um let's say uh, on any particular day or let's say daily you want to execute a script um, after the intervals of half an hour but only from 9 a.m. up to 6 p.m. so let's say it's some office work and you have to execute that particular command after every half an hour but only from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. so how can you go about doing that so you have to execute the script after every half an hour so let me put the minute value as 0 and 30 but I have to execute it from the R value is having the range 9 to 6 p.m. can be specified 18 so it is 9 to 18 so you can just write 918. So you have to use a dash symbol here. So 918 is the value of the R parameter and then you can just put asterisks. So in this way, we have specified another kind of schedule which is going to execute a script daily from 9 a.m. up to 6 p.m. at intervals of 30 minutes. So in this way, this is, this is going to work. So these are the different ways of scheduling, of specifying a schedule for your commands. And also there are some aliases or some predefined scheduling definitions. For example, there is something called at the rate yearly. So this is just an alias. You can just write at the rate yearly and then you can put your command. So at the rate yearly is simply equivalent to 0011 asterisk, which simply means that on the zeroth hour, on the zeroth minute, zeroth hour of 1st of January, you want to execute a script, which simply means that you want to execute a script yearly. Right. Similarly, we have monthly, weekly, daily, hourly. But one more important thing here is that we have something called reboot. So what at the rate reboot will do is that it will execute your script every time the system is booted up. So every time you restart your computer, every time you start your computer, what will happen is that um, the specified command will be executed. So this is how reboot will help you. So yeah, so these are all the different examples and I hope that you've got a bit of understanding of how to define the schedule and now it is time to do some practical thing. So let's see um, how to schedule a Python script execution using cron. So here is my terminal and on my desktop folder, I have a file called test.py. 
So let us see the contents of test.py. So test.py is actually a fairly simple Python script in which I'm just importing the OS module. I am importing the time module and printing running and I am creating a directory in my um, current folder whose name is equal to the Unix timestamp by which I am getting by calling time dot time function. So it is a very simple script which is just creating a new folder which is just printing running and that's it. So let me just try to run it. So let me just do python3 test.py. So look at that it printed running and we got a folder whose name is somewhat equal or related to my unix timestamp current unix timestamp. So if I just run this uh, command again I get a running again and I get another directory in my current desktop folder. So in this way this particular script is working and now I want to um, run this script after every minute and for doing that I'm going to use cron. So you have to specify your job schedule in the cron tab file and for doing that you have to do cron tab hyphen e. So hyphen e means you want to open the cron table in the edit mode. You can always just see your cron, type, cron tab or cron table by doing hyphen l which will simply show it to you. So this is my cron tab file right now which is just having some comments because there is hash here right. So let me just open it in edit mode. So here I have my cron tab and right now all the lines have been commented. So here let me come to the last line and write my job schedule which I want to execute. So since I want to execute my job after every minute I will just do asterisk I'll just write asterisk five times and now I will um, have to write python3 test.py. Now this is actually the command which I was using um, for running my python script when I was at the desktop but according to cron according to the background process which is gonna run this particular script uh, or this particular command that process doesn't know that I have to be at the desktop for executing this particular command. So what you can do here is that we can do cd okay so it just removed it all so let me just write it like this we have to first of all move to the desktop cd desktop and then i'll put double end which means that and which means that after moving to the desktop i have to do this job now which is python3 test.py so now it looks better so i will just first of all move to the desktop and now i will simply execute my uh, another command which is quite local to the desktop right uh, because my test.py is at the desktop so this is fine but now another thing is that another thing to, that you must know here is that cron actually uses a shell called sh for executing your shell commands that you provide here. So sh shell is actually um, quite low level and it doesn't know about some aliases like python3. It doesn't know what is python3 so python3 might not work as expected for you while you are using cron okay. So you might need to provide the absolute path to the interpreter to the python interpreter that you want to use here. So for that you can simply do where is python3. So after doing that you will get the different paths to the different python interpreters that you have installed on your computer. So slash user slash bin slash python3.6 is actually the path to my python3.6 interpreter. So I'm just going to use that for executing my um, command so let me put it like this so slash user slash bin slash 3. python 3.6 test.py so in this way it will execute um, my python script and also I want to put all the output produced by test.py like all the print commands which are producing some output I want to put that output to some file because actually background process will be executing my python script so I cannot see the output which is getting printed right so I can simply save it to some file and that is what I'm going to do by using this symbol this double greater than symbol which means simply means that append to this particular file which I'm going to call test.out okay so it will simply be appending all the output to a file called test.out on my desktop. So in this way we will be actually you can say in a way logging um, some 
uh, print statements which are provided in my Python script. So that's all. So this seems fine. So this is the complete job that I want to submit to cron. Okay. So let me just do, let me just get out of it. I just close it and it is saying that it is installing new cron tab which simply means that the cron table is getting updated the background process is made aware of the of the new cron job and so on so look at that i just do ls so right now um i do not have anything here so it, i think it might take um, a few seconds because it has to execute after every minute but before that um if you want to see the logs of the cron actual actually then you can always go to tail hyphen you can always go to slash where slash log slash syslog so this is the file which has some logs about different kind of system commands system operational file system uh, um, softwares so let's see something so look at that it is showing me some logs by the cron tab which is saying that I did some edit operations on the cron tab and look at that there is a log by cron itself which is saying that it is executing the command which was this one cd desktop and this and so on which I just um, provided right so let me just do ls so look, look at that if I do ls I can now see two extra files test.out and one new directory in my current desktop so let me just see the contents of test.out so look at that in test.out we have running written here so which simply means that everything is working fine my jobs are getting scheduled easily by cron and it seems to be working fine right so we have also got this directory new directory created here so i think if one minute has passed um we will see that see we will see another directory as well okay so yeah so in this way you can always uh, use cron on any unix or unix like environments for scheduling your python scripts or any other kind any other kind of shell commands that you might have and i hope it will work well for you so look at that we got four directories now here so and let us see the contents of um, test.out look at that we have running written two times so as we were using two greater than symbols which simply means append to the already existing contents of the given file okay so yeah so this was all about um, executing or scheduling the python script execution at certain intervals of time i hope the concept is clear if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching